Hi guys, thanks for watching my channel. I'm Caroline and today I wanted to talk to you about bike short outfits for people who hate bike shorts. I was totally not on board with the bike short trend when it came out. When I saw Kim K come out with them, I was just like, girl, no, what are you thinking? Is this a Kanye stylist? like situation I was not on board I thought for sure that this trend was going to be something that came and went with the fashion set but it started getting adopted then 2020 hit lockdown happened and I think truly that lockdown has contributed to the longevity of this trend because you know we're all trapped in our homes and it's over the summer so people are not really gravitating toward things like leggings and yoga pants and sweatpants they're gravitating toward lounge shorts and bike shorts so i have two bike shorts here that i purchased to try to enter into the bike short trend. One was successful and one was not. The pair that was not successful, which you can guess because the tag is still on, is this pair of Spanx Moto bike shorts. I love Spanx's Moto leggings, so I thought for sure I'd be into the bike short version, and I thought the Moto detail would dress this up. I thought, oh, for sure, this is gonna look really cute with a, a blazer, a button-up shirt, no. It did not. The sheen does not work in the short version. I do not recommend shiny bike shorts for people who do not like bike shorts. If you do not like bike shorts, but you do want to try out the trend, you want to try out the look, you want to push yourself, I would recommend a basic black pair. I got this pair from Amazon. This is Bayleaf Belief, and it has pockets. It has functional pockets on both sides. I think that People are hesitant to buy clothing from Amazon because you do get a lot of brands that are lower quality. This is a really good quality pair, I would say. I haven't had it for that long and I haven't, you know, worked out in it, but it's very stretchy. I don't worry that it's going to, you know, rip when I'm pulling and tugging this way. You don't have to worry about, you know, this only being good for one wear. And that's important when we're buying our clothes. We wanna make sure that even if we're getting a good deal that it's gonna be clothing that lasts and we can reuse so that we are shopping in a sustainable way. The essential piece to pair with the bike short I think is a black tank top and I just wanna call out the one that I'm wearing now. I liked it so much that I wanted to wear it in the video the whole time. It is this really amazing piece from Amazon. It came in a pack of three. It again feels substantial. It doesn't feel super see-through or transparent or anything like that. I also wash all my you know tops on delicate and a hang dry so that can help as well if you're finding that you're buying clothes and they don't wear well you might be it might be user error. It might be a wash situation. So if you're going to be starting off with you know a black bike short, if you pair it with something like a black tank, a black cami, a, a black, you know, crop top, you're going to find that it's going to be easier to style. And that is why I started off with this look and a windbreaker. I think, you know, you see a lot of people styling bike shorts with denim jackets and graphic tees, but I think if you want to keep that casual vibe without going the denim jacket route, because I'm not like a huge denim jacket girl. Um, I think the windbreaker is an option. And it's nice because it's lighter for something like this summer, but it's gonna be a transitional piece as well as you're going toward the fall because it's a windbreaker. It'll break the wind and keep you warm <laughs> um, without keeping you like really stiff like in a denim jacket. I really, you know, this is another Amazon find. I will link everything that I can below, but I thought that this was so cute. The windbreaker is very, very thin, but that's what a windbreaker is. I'm not worried about it. Is this piece gonna be in my closet for years and years and years? If I take care of it, probably, but it's not gonna be as hard wearing as other pieces that I have. That's just something to keep in mind about this windbreaker. But I think it looks really cute, open, with the tank and the bike shorts underneath. You can have some cute kicks with it as well, and you still have that casual vibe. Um, but the jacket somehow keeps it from feeling like, hey, I just rolled from the yoga studio. But at the same time, you could literally have just rolled from the yoga studio and thrown a windbreaker on. 
this is probably going to be, you know, the most casual. The most casual. I always feel like I'm cheating when I say just throw a black blazer on over everything, but like just throw a black blazer on over everything and you, all your problems are solved. I like the idea of an open black blazer with, you know, a graphic tee and bike shorts. And I think that you really want to casual it up because bike shorts are so casual. Blazer is so uncasual. A blazer can be casual, but a blazer really is a piece that elevates. So you don't want it to look too disparate. I would go with a graphic tee. I would roll up the sleeves of the blazer so that you have, you know, more of that laid back chill vibe. And I would pair it with kicks again probably. You could even go ahead with a small block heel. I think that is just something that is like a very simple fix for a lot of pieces. It's it's my cheat. My cheat is, you know, whenever you don't know what to wear, you have a t-shirt and jeans, throw on a blazer. You have a t-shirt, a tank top and shorts, throw on a blazer. But that is part of what this video is about. It's about finding easy solutions for people who don't like the underlying piece, which is the bike short. I'm coming around. I'm coming around. This is the outfit that made me come around to bike shorts. I was so excited when I thought it up. I tried it on. I was like, yes, this is how I would wear bike shorts out and about to brunch and I wouldn't feel weird. I would feel like super cool. <laughs> I say, I say that and I laugh because I don't know how long you are watching. Please subscribe and like this video if you're new here. But I, f I don't feel cool all the time. And so when I, when I say that I feel cool in an outfit, I, f I still kind of laugh and think it's funny. But an oversized non-black blazer with a belt. A belted blazer with the bike short and the key idea here is that you're kind of covering the bike short you're covering your butt so that your butt is not super exposed so you do look a little bit more covered up a little bit more conservative a little bit less like you just rolled from spin class not that there's anything wrong with spin class I think health is very important go out and exercise get some vitamin D and all of that but I just think it a really really oversized blazer with a belt over it, with bike shorts, and I would go for some block heeled sandals with this look. I don't think you have to stick with the kicks. I would even consider some of the shoots um, or shuts. Jesus, I still don't know how to pronounce that brand, you guys. You guys need to help me. Write it in the comments. I don't know how to pronounce it. Shoots, um, block heels, like the Victory sandal, which I am getting shipped to me. And so there's the Victory Sandals and you can also get the Ariellas. I just featured that in my designer shoe haul video, which I will have linked in the description if you want to check that out. I just think this outfit is so cute and I think really the belt is what pulls it all together. Why is it any different than the second outfit I recommended, throwing a blazer over a graphic tee? It's really not that different. And it's really not that different from something that I would wear uh, with leggings, but I think the belt over it really makes it look like this was not just casually thrown in. I had to actually take 45 seconds to put the belt over it and really think about this outfit. And I think, you know, that's what elevates fashion from function is accessories and making it look like these were deliberate choices. You can look very laid back. You can look very, you know, je ne sais quoi, like very casual and free and still look super fashionable but I think when you have little details like a really beautiful piece of jewelry a really you know maybe a bracelet set or something layered necklaces anything like that where it can look effortless but for people in the know they know oh, okay I see I see you had to like buckle those bracelets on um Anything like that is what I think makes an outfit special and something more than just the function of wearing clothes on your body. If you made it this far in the video, please leave the phrase yoga mat in the comments down below so I know that you made it all the way. Thank you so much. I hope that this video gave you some fun ideas for how you can style bike shorts if you don't like bike shorts the way that I didn't like bike shorts. Now I'm obsessed. I am probably going to be wearing these. You might see more of me. I might get more colors. I don't know. But I think that I've joined the bike short bandwagon, guys.
Thank you so much, and until next time, bye.